Hey guys, new Paralyzer, and I am playing Mega Man Legacy Collection, and I'm basically just going to show off, for those who don't know, a very common thing called pause buffering, which only exists in Mega Man 1. I'm going to do it on the challenge right here, just so I can go straight to a boss fight. Now, this works only in Mega Man 1, and you can do it through the main game on the bosses, uh, but uh, the game lets you, with the bumper... Um, use the original Mega Man 1 pause. You can see MM1 pause select. It's actually mapped to the bumper, which if you're playing on PlayStation 4, it's probably like R1 or something. And then on Steam, it's probably something on the keyboard, unless you're using an Xbox controller, it's probably still the same. But as you see, when you pause with this button, uh, when you're blinking, like your invincibility frames, they'll actually recover fully while in this frozen state. So every time I hit the yellow devil with my lightning and I unpause and pause briefly, um, he's being hit and his invincibility frame uh, ends. So I manage to just keep slowly moving that lightning bolt through his eye. Slowly. And there we go. And this works on pretty much all the bosses of Mega Man 1. Um, it's not, not pretty much, it does. It just. Depends what item you use, um, just know who you're using them on, and just, you know, look at, um, your bullet, because the bullet needs to, like, be frozen, and it's still pass through, like, if you press it too fast, you won't do it. As you can see there on leaderboards, that you do it in, like, 20 seconds, like, it's a well-known thing. So, I mean, you can do it in Mega Man 1, you can, uh, mess with, you can change your controls up if you don't want it to be the bumper, you can put it as the menu button, or select button, you know, whatever you want to call it. I mean, you know, you're not limited to having it on the bumper. So there's, that's how you pause the buffer in Mega Man Legacy Collection. Uh, I hope that helps somebody.